Aries, beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia, welcome, welcome back. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now in this reading, we will be pulling some messages that will help uncover any abundance blocks you might be experiencing at this time, money or love related. If there is a certain amount of money you would like to manifest into your beautiful life or that special somebody, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and spirit, all of the details will be down in the description box below, along with my husband. Husband. If you haven't yet, check him out. He's over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading. We will be pulling a final message from your angels. Now, Aries, it's feeling like this is like a new time in your life, meaning that you're going to have to really discern between what you're putting your focus and attention into. Because what the first, what we have pulled up here is the Ten of Swords, insinuating and indicating that it's time to let go of the old so that you can open up and welcome in fresh energy to put towards what you actually care about, okay? New creations, showing up consistently and diligently with what you actually care about. And that's only going to be possible when you let go of the things from your past that you're maybe carting around with you or carrying with you, anything you find yourself giving your power away to, right? Wondering when a relationship's going to come in, wondering when this is going to get fixed, wondering when you're going to feel like all that stuff, like the, the hows and the winds and all that. That's just a bunch of clutter that, uh, that really takes us away from really being able to live our, our true intention, right? So the energy that's coming forward here for you is the Ace of Wands in reverse and the Six of Cups, meaning that right now, in order for you to get back on purpose, get back in your flow, back, get back connected to your passion, you've really got to let go of the nostalgic thoughts, the, the anything that, that doesn't serve you anymore. This is a new time and space. This is a new segment, if you will. And that means you've got to really prioritize what is the requirements for this new segment, right? You can't take the worrying and the fear with you because then your life will be built off of worrying and fear. Always remember that you want to follow your joy. Now, what's happening is this. Because you're in this new segment, you are going to be learning new things and experiencing new things. And this game of life is always intended for you to express yourself in the way that you feel most creative, right? Exp creating your art. The only way we're going to be able to actually create in the way that we want to is a, if we let go of energy of, of too much energy around us, right? Like even for me, when I was uh, in the, from, from traveling and being in these reads, like I realized I'm like too much energy was being put into the, 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 the preparation and, and, and all that stuff, right? That's why I'm no longer wearing makeup. I don't wear makeup in my regular life. And I, when I first started out my journey, I never wore makeup. Uh, and it was just through uh, trial and error and going through uh, inspirations and, and testing out, is this, is this what I want to do? Is this, is, does this feel good for me? And then after, you know, really off, really being ungrounded from the travel, right? Having all these the new, new energies and new ideas. I tried a few things, right? And through that trial and error and through trying new things, uh, I came back to the very beginning of where I started, which was that yeah, I really, uh, I'm not really a makeup person. I, I don't like my skin. I don't like makeup on my skin. So this is me, right? This is me, my, my authentic self. And so you're going to go through ups and downs and discovering and figuring it all out. So we just ask you to be curious, be curious because how you believe in yourself and how you grow confidence, how I know this is me is because I went through all of the, all of the emotional choices and all of the different things that I was inspired to do, all of the different makeups and stuff. And, and, and I was inspired to do that. Right. So how I feel confident with myself now creating the art I want to do that way I want to create it and believing in myself, it came from experience. And that only comes through time, right? My, my horse instructor, as well as my motorcycle instructor, both said it, it's just time in the saddle. That's it. You can, you just learn the skills and then you put time in. That's it. You just learn and it's time. It's learn and it's time. And that's why don't be hard on yourself. Just show up and stay consistent. And then, and, and also look for the joy because that's how you're going to be able to trust, right? Believe Believing in yourself means trusting, right? And so when you are more the data collector, the observer of your life, right? Just a plain old data collector, right? Observing, right? That's when you can start to really collect the data and put the pieces together and be able to lay that solid foundation for your life. But we want to offer you advice. And this is that, right? Because whatever you are placing your awareness into, you're collecting data on that thing. So if you set your awareness to joy, then you're going to collect data on all the things in life that bring you joy, what you like. And then you're going to be able to express yourself more creatively because you feel joy, 
right? You feel good, right? But if you put your awareness into not having enough money or, you know, trying to lose weight, all the lacking in life, the poverty kind of mindset that keeps beings in that state, right? A poverty mindset keeps you in a poverty mindset. An abundance mindset allows you to grow and evolve and, and create more abundance and wealth in your life. So that's why when you set your awareness towards abundance, towards joy, that's when you will allow it in. We want you to write this down in your in the comments below. As your affirmation, I am following my joy. I am following my joy. I am following my joy. It's so, so, so important to follow your joy. And as you follow your joy and as you show up and remain consistent and, and, and diligently, take time out to rest as well. There's no way that you're going to be able to achieve what you want to achieve if you put focus into the same thing every single day. You show up for your life consistently and you, uh, and you put energy towards the things you want to build. But if there's days where you're just feeling done, you're like, I just don't feel inspired to do this. Take that break. Take some time away because in those moments away, that's where mo the most clarity is going to come, you see? So don't feel like you ever have to force something, but when you are feeling that creative pull, get into it with an open heart, you know, and, and, and know that it's, it's always going to be your energy, right? It's always going to be how you feel inside of you. That's going to guide you, right? So that's why you really do want to connect to the body. That's what it is to connect to the higher self is to connect to the body. And if we have a lot of stored emotion, usually from this region of the body to this region, the hips, really the hips up to about here, there's a lot of emotion, right? That's why we recommend having a daily practice of movement, a daily practice of stillness and being a, a mindful about what you consume, because it's going to play a huge role on how well you can interpret spirit's guidance, right? And that's why most of us are walking around like zombies because we're not connected to the body at all, you know? So that's why it's so important just to connect to the body, connect to your feeling state, right? Your third eye is going to bring you a lot of guidance. If you connect, bring your awareness upwards past the emotional state of right here and bring it to up this part, you're going to receive guidance. It's going to be about one or two words or so. You can trust that guidance, right? Because at the end of the day, we all need support. We all need support. We all need to hear that voice that lets us know we're okay and everything's fine. And you have that, you have a support system right inside of you, right inside of you. And that wisdom comes from just being able to be able to read it. And that reading isn't a difficult thing. It's just about knowing it, right? Knowing that the wisdom comes and from the third eye region. And really, again, about practicing clearing away that energy every single day so that you can access that support, nurturing yourself, taking care of yourself. This is the most important thing for you right now, right? Don't feel like you got to push it. Remember, you're not going to even show up and be your best self if you don't feel your best, right? And we know that whatever you do in life, Aries, you want to be your best. You're an Aries for goodness sake. Whatever you do is the best. But if you're not feeling up and show being your best, right? You're just not going to feel like you're into it, right? You're going to feel uninspired. You're like, I don't really care. I, I don't feel connected. You know what I mean? So in order for you to feel connected, feel that magic, feel that inspiration, you got to always remember that you've got to uh, have balance, where if you're not showing up and wanting to be the best or be the best version of yourself, then there's a disconnection in there somewhere and you've got to go and spend some time reconnecting back to the body so you can show up in your best form, you know? And it really is just about um, connecting back to the body, connecting back to the relationship with your higher self. Also the message brought forward by your angels today, right? So your angels say to you now, your primary relationship is with yourself and God, source creator, and every other relationship follows from there. To attract, heal, or balance a relationship, snuggle more closely with your loving creator. As you feel safe and loved within, so shall your other relationships bloom and prosper. And that's the thing, right? We're always trying to like fix our relationship, fix our marriage, uh, attract a relationship. Where's my soulmate? But all of that is just a bunch of emotional mumbo jumbo that's cluttering your awareness, right? True love shows up for us when we have a connection to the love that flows within us. That's when love shows up, right? That's when your relationships flourish, right? That is when, when, when you attract love in. So focus on the relationship with your, with your internal state, right? With your internal well-being. And that is going to be when everything that you desire comes in. This is a beautiful time in your life now, Aries, and a, a, a glorious time to celebrate. This is that, that pre, this is that 
pre-celebration, right? This is like the pre-drinks before the party, if you get my, uh, what a bad metaphor, but you know what I'm trying to say, right? This is the pre-celebration. Feel, uh, feel free to celebrate because a positive outcome is assured for you. And that is guaranteed. That is guaranteed by spirit. Remember, you are always guaranteed the most highest outcome possible, but you're just not feeling like you if you're not doing it the way that you want to. So create your life the way you want to. Follow the joys of your heart. If it doesn't feel joyful, let it go. Disconnect from that focus. Go do something that does bring you joy. Go do something that does get that, that creative side of you going. And then bring that creative energy that you've been doing somewhere else, bring that into your current endeavors. And then you'll be able to synchronize all the energy together. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. And if there was, like and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.